Hello everyone, my name is Marie Karekla, ERA's Engagement and Program Coordinator, and welcome to the FAIR Air tutorial. FAIR Air is an unbiased calculation tool for anyone looking to purchase and install an air conditioner. It will help you as a consumer determine the size, capacity and energy needs of the space you are working with. FAIR Air was developed by ERA, the Australian Institute of Refrigeration, Air Conditioning and Heating. ERA represents professionals working in the HVAC and R and building services industries. ERA supports its members in achieving world best practice within the Australian HVAC and R industry through a range of programs and opportunities for professional development. To begin the tutorial, I will now pass you over to Lisa Hill, ERA's Membership Services Officer, who will step you through the FAIR Air tool. Thanks, Marie. FAIR Air has recently undergone a refresh. We now have four calculators, heating, cooling, noise, and energy. And you can now email yourself the results. These calculators let you input your specifications and it will advise you of what to look for in an air conditioner. To use the calculators, you'll need to gather some information first, such as your room dimensions, electricity bill, and looking at the space that you may wish to place your new unit. For heating and cooling, you'll need to measure the room dimensions you wish to use the air conditioner in. Heating is a new calculator and is very similar to the cooling one, requiring the same inputs. So let's first step through the cooling calculator. Step one asks you to select your location. Please use your closest major centre. For this example, we will use Brisbane. Step two asks that you input the measurements of your room, including the ceiling, roof, floor, windows, and internal and external walls. You'll also need to know the type of materials and their color, as this will affect the results and the cooling load required. So for this example, we have an insulated metal roof of eight square meters. The roof type is a, the color is a light color. The floor is an insulated concrete slab on the ground of seven square meters. The external walls are a brick veneer with insulation of 10 square metres and their colour is of medium brick. The windows are an aluminium window single glazed with 3 millimetre glass of 2 square metres and the internal walls are approximately 20 square metres. Step 3 then requires you to select the direction the windows are facing, which for our example is east or west. Step 3 requires you to select the direction the windows are facing, which for our example is east and west. You can now input the size of the windows and the type of shading, which for this example is a fully shaded area of two square meters. Finally, we need to input how big the size of the room is, what its use is, and typically how many people would be inside. So for this room, it's three meters long by three meters wide by 2.6 meters high. The internal load will be approximately two people and the type of room is a bedroom. That's it. The calculator will now assess all of these parameters and you now know the total cooling load for this room. This will help you when looking at the labelling on your potential air conditioning units. If you have multiple rooms that you wish to cool, complete the process again for the other spaces and add up the results. You can use this information when discussing with suppliers and installers and you can email the results to yourself to keep a record. If you would like any more information such as how to reduce the cooling load of a room or about energy efficiency, please take a look at the links below. Next, we will explore the noise calculator. This is a bit different to the heating and cooling calculators and focuses more on the type of space that the unit will be placed in. Step one asks for the shortest straight line between the unit and a receiver or you or your neighbor's ears. For this example, we will use three meters. Step two, you will need to look around the space and see what types of barriers there are between where the unit will be placed and where the noise will be received. For this example, we will use no barrier. Scroll down and click next. Finally, step three asks for how many reflecting surfaces there are within a certain distance, as this can impact the noise level. There are no reflecting surfaces within three meters. The calculator will now show you what the maximum noise level should be for a unit placed in that area. And you can look for units with an outdoor noise level below this figure. Email the results to yourself so you have this information on hand when discussing with your installer. We hope that these tutorials have helped you understand how to use the calculators on the FAIR Air website. Please note that this advice is generic in nature and we encourage you to also consult with an authorised installer to determine the best product for your needs. 
You can find suppliers on Aira's HVAC in our website by following the suppliers button. If you have any concerns about an installation that has already been completed, the first step is to contact the installer or building owner for a resolution. If this proves difficult or does not resolve the issue, the next step is to contact your local council or building authority, which ERA has provided a list of contacts for here, under the Government Programs button. If you have any questions about Fair Air itself, please contact ERA at ERA.org.au. We have also provided further information to support you through the process on our Frequently Asked Questions page under the About section. We wish you all the best in your research and hope you enjoy your new unit once it's installed.